Welcome to the video on how to show overlays in Power BI. We will start with opening a Power BI project in which we have already connected to the neighborhood's GeoJSON endpoint of a session in the Tigron platform. Once opened, we will need to import a new visual from the Power BI store named Icon Map. To add a new visual, click on the three dots button named Get More Visuals in the Visuals tab and select Get More Visuals. In the Power BI Visuals panel, click on the search field and type Icon Map. Once the app page has loaded, click on the Add button to add this visual to your Power BI project. Next, click on the Icon Map button to add the visual. To visualize overlays with this visual, we first have to visualize data points on this visual that are located in the same location as the overlays. We will use the neighborhoods in our Tigron project for this purpose. If you do not yet have a neighborhood web connection, watch the video on how to connect Power BI to your Tigron project. Otherwise, inspect the data tab and unfold the neighborhood data connection. Find the longitude attribute and drag it to the longitude field of the icon map visual. Do the same for the latitude attribute. Find and drag the name attribute to the category field. For the size field, select the active attribute. The icon map should now update to a zoomed in view of the center points of the neighborhoods. Next, we will add an overlay background to this icon view. Open the Tigron client application and select the Tools tab. Hover over API Overview and select the option Show WMS Endpoint. A browser will open with the Capabilities page of this web map service. Under the Service element, find the Online Resource element and copy that URL. This is the URL of the project's web map service. Copy this URL. Now switch back to Power BI. With the icon map visual selected, select Format your visual under Visualizations and unfold the WMS layer section. First click on the Off button to activate it. Next, paste the URL of the web map service in the URL field. Select the layer field and provide the number 1. The icon map should now show the neighborhood's overlay of the session in the Tigron platform. Change this number to show different overlays. The number used is the ID of the overlay in the Tigron project, and optionally followed by a dash and a time frame number. For example, type 14-2 to visualize time frame 2 of the PE temperature overlay. You can also find an overview of the overlay layers in the web map service by scrolling down its capabilities page in the browser. It is also possible to use background layers from the WMS, which can be found at the end of the layer list. These are named Satellite, Topographic, and Gray. Now switch back to Power BI and select the layer field of the web map service. Change the layer name to Satellite and inspect the updated visual. You have now learned how to show an overlay of a project session in Power BI.